Hello and welcome to the first video in this series. In this series I'll be going over how I retrofitted my old Mercedes with a custom tablet interface, utilising an Android head unit connected to an Arduino, which can talk to all the cars used to use over CAN bus, to create an infotainment system that can interact with all the subsystems of the car. Firstly, I had to disassemble the interior of the car. This was done to make it easier to work out where to run the cables, and to be able to fit in the custom Android head unit. I found a connection point for CAN bus B under the driver's steering wheel. The green wire here is CAN bus high and the brown wire is CAN bus low. This allows me to read and write data to the interior ECUs of the car. I then found a connection point for CAN bus C using the stock instrument cluster wire harness. Here the red cable is CAN high and the green wire is CAN low. This connection allows me to read and write to the drivetrain ECUs, which in turn lets me read a lot more engine metrics than is traditionally available over generic ODB2 diagnostics. Putting the stock cover back on, the cables now tighten will not disconnect accidentally whilst driving. I then ran both sets of cables under the driver's steering wheel and up behind the hole where the stock radio once was. I then built a simple CAN bus decoder and encoder system using an Arduino Uno and two CAN bus shields. The upper shield here connects to CAN bus B and the lower shield connects to CAN bus C. I then created a simple program for the Arduino. This sketch reads the data coming from both CAN networks and encodes it as a hex string in this function. Appended to each hex string is either a B or a C, denoting which bus the frame came from. The Arduino also listens in this loop for incoming data from the tablet and does the reverse to encode the CAN bus frame from the hex string and send it to the correct network. Once this was all complete, I was able to do an initial test of the Android tablet in place and the Arduino hanging out of the side. This was simply done to ensure that the CAN data was encoded and decoded by both sides correctly. With the basic framework in place, I then set about creating an interface. Unfortunately, I only have recorded some of the coding as a time lapse. Next I began to build an Android framework for encoding and decoding CAN data. This involves creating a class that can do bit shifting to extract values within a CAN frame at a custom offset and length. More about this later. Then for my next test, I created a simple parser for the climate control based CAN data sent over CAN bus B. I know where all the data is in this CAN frame thanks to some reverse engineering I did in the previous project, as shown on screen. Before getting ready for the initial test, I managed to run the Arduino CAN wires and serial USB cable through a small hole in the glove box. Finally, I could insert the Android head unit with the utter mess of cables behind it, hidden away from view. And here is the completed setup. The Arduino now sits in the glove box hidden from view. Now, I have to admit, a lot of time has passed since the initial installation, I got sidetracked with other projects, but... I have been able to create two more pages for displaying metrics and data about the car's powertrain systems. And here's the system so far. On this climate control display, the window position indicators are reacting to me moving the windows up and down. As I manually adjust the fan speed, that is reflected under the sensors display. Lastly here, as I adjust the airflow direction, the vent position indicators change to show which position each vent is in. On this display, I can display live fuel economy readings, something that the car doesn't even do from factory. All that the trip computer does from factory is display an average MPG reading fuel trip. Also note the live fuel usage. This is being broadcast over the engine CAN network by the engine's own ECU. Lastly, on this display, I have selected a few important sensors being broadcast over various 
power trait these seems, and combine them into one view, allowing me to keep track on some vitals from the engine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.